Another seating area will be built for corporate executives which will assist in finishing off the stadium. This will be the home of football, rugby union and rugby league. Appropriate fencing will be built around the stadium with the availability of car park space and the inclusion of restaurants and cafes. Area, And we'll have all the amenities of changing rooms, toilets uh, and everything in place. Curtin Brothers will continue working on the stadium to completion in a private-public partnership with the government. Curtin Brothers are putting in 60 million kina of their own funding, probably with a little bit more as well as time goes on, and the government component is another 60 million. So a total of 120 million for this uh, fantastic stadium. This field here, I would say without a doubt, is not only the best uh, rugby and soccer and uh, union field in Papua New Guinea, but in the whole of the Pacific. Without a doubt. Once the stadium is complete, it is said to be the biggest in Papua New Guinea and the region. It is said to be completed next year in September, two months before the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup. Elijah Lavette, National MTV Sports.